Hi everyone, Miss Walter here. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. It is day 12 of remote learning. I can't believe it's already the last day of the month. March was a really, really long month. What was your favorite memory of the month? So this was a really long month, but if you remember back to the very first week of the month, we had Read Across America where we wore different outfits every day for Spirit Day, and we had the activities in the cafeteria, we had the movie day, we had guest readers, we did the hashtag YHS Reads 2020. That was one of my favorite memories because we had a lot of fun that week, and we did a lot of reading of Dr. Seuss books. I also loved the planetarium assembly that we had... Yes, one of the Mondays we were there in school in March where we sat in the big dome and looked at the stars. Those were two of my favorite things that happened this month. All right, here is a rundown of today's activities. Today's writing prompt is if you could get rid of any subject in school, what would it be and why? Now that I'm older, I love all school subjects, but when I was a kid, I probably would have wanted to get rid of reading because as a kid, I didn't, I wasn't really the best reader, but I actually graduated college summa cum laude with a degree in English literature. So good thing I continued reading because now I'm a better reader. You're going to highlight and find adjectives. In reading, you are going to use book flicks to read the caterpillar and the polywog and the tadpole grows up in book flicks and then complete the activities on the sidebars. In foundations, practice letters and sounds, review the new double vowel team and our word of the day is complain. So you're gonna mark and write a sentence for the word complain. Continue practicing the new trick words. In science, today we're gonna use a new website called ReadWorks. So you're gonna read how not to save a sandcastle. Please make sure you are logging in with the student login. On the document, there is a class code. The password is one, two, three, four for everyone in my class. In math, we're gonna continue subtracting. Today, you're gonna work on the ungrouping method. Just like in class, we're showing you all these different methods you can use, but it's important that you find the one that you are most comfortable using and are the most successful at. Continue playing math games and clever on iReady, Splash Math, Happy Numbers. I just posted extra math, whatever game you enjoy. There is also a video to help show you the ungrouping method. Yesterday's joke was, what did the left eye say to the right eye? It said, between us, something smells. Because, of course, your nose is between your two eyes and your nose smells. Today's joke of the day is, how do we know that oceans are friendly? Yesterday's activity was the rainbow hunt. Um, mine's in the other room, but tomorrow I'll write myself a note. I want to show you my rainbow. And if you are on a walk, hopefully... In your neighborhood, you see rainbows in windows to encourage us to remember that at the end of the storm, something beautiful happens. Today, I'm going to kind of change it up so I have like a challenge slash activity. So the activity is something you can do around your house. Um, I found a video of how to make a fidget spinner with paper. So the link is in the description box below. You can click the link and make your own fidget spinner. I think that's pretty cool. Always remember to be cooperative with your family who is working with you at home. Say please and thank you and wash your hands. Don't touch your face and please reach out if you need any help or need anything. Have a great day.